What's up guys, it's Noob. In this video, I'm gonna be teaching you how to install mods to Minecraft Java Edition on your computer. First and foremost, you need to know exactly where your Minecraft launcher is and where your mods folder is. It's important that you already have Forge and your mods downloaded before you start this because you can't do anything until you do. And the links to both of those will be in the description, so go get those quick. So it's important that you know how to access your mods folder, so I'm keeping it on my desktop, which you should do also. If you go into your Minecraft launcher, you have to go up to Installations and click New Installation. That's how you start making your, your modded file sorting system, essentially. You're going to go to the version, and you're going to pick out the one that says Forge on it. It's going to be all the way at the bottom of the list. And then you're going to open the game, and it's going to pull you basically into a normal minecraft loading screen and you have to make a world so that way you can figure out where the files are being stored when you do that you go to open folder and it will show you where your files are you're going to drag that folder or copy it your choice onto your desktop it's probably going to be called dot minecraft if it is that's fine bring it over there rename it to something so you know exactly what mod you're dealing with and you can remember which folder you're looking for. That's going to be important later. After that, you put the mods folder that you downloaded from me or your own mods folder into that folder and make sure it's called mods. Nothing extra, just M-O-D-S, all lowercase, just like that. Once you do that, open Minecraft Launcher back up Make sure you don't have any Minecraft tabs open, because if you do, it will break things. And say, Edit, go to Game Directory, and click Browse. When you do that, you can go and select the folder that you named to be whatever you want that was originally .minecraft. And when you select that, that's where all of your stuff's going to be stored for this particular game set with all of those mods. So... At that point, you should be able to open up Minecraft and see all of the mods in there as they're shown. If you have, like, custom loading screens on the mods, which I do, and you'll see a custom loading screen on the mod when you open it because of the Ice and Fire mod. So you'll have a pretty good indicator that you did it right if you're done and you open it. So that's really it for the tutorial portion of this video. If you have any confusions, feel free to leave a comment and I will try my very, very best to help you understand what you've done wrong in the installation process. I'm absolutely up to help you troubleshoot. So just let me know in the comments below if you have any problems and we'll get to it.